And with crime on the rise in central Minnesota, based on statistics provided by the government, the city of Waite Park is looking for options to fight this problem in their town. Emilio Ramos joins us with more. That's right. I spoke with Waite Park city officials today about their ideas to help fund the police department, which has been stretching itself too thin to keep its people safe. Waite Park City officials created a group four years ago to review city services. And that task force was comprised of business um, owners within Waite Park as well as some residents. Their main concern, public safety. The economy downturn at the time limited the options to find a solution to the problem. And it really wasn't a time for us that we could really feel like we could add anything. It was a more of a matter of surviving to be able to get through that and being able to really maintain the level of officers that we had. In 2013, an advisory group was created at the Wade Park Police Department to recognize the public safety demands by the community group created in 2010. Uh, but the need to be able to meet where the demands are right now, we need an additional five to eight officers to handle the existing call load that we have. Though the police department lacks of staff, neighbor cities give them a hand. You know, we have mutual aid agreements with, with all our partners, and, and just as we uh, assisted those two agencies with those two cases. Uh, you know, our partners do the same for us. City officials are looking at three possible ways to afford the cost of additional officers in the police department, one of them government aid. Um, but the formula doesn't necessarily help us today. The other idea would be an increase on property taxes and when you look at statistics, 82 percent of the crime is done by none residents of Wade Park, the rest of it by Wade Park residents, which brings city officials to a third idea that would raise sale taxes. That considering that over a hundred thousand cars drive through the city on a daily basis. Then the one thing though I will say about sales taxes is that our community generates a lot of population. If the bill supporting an increase on sale taxes by a quarter of a cent, it would then go to the people to decide upon. It is, and so those are the reasons why if it, you know, if sales tax is the option that would get moved forward, that's why it goes to the vote of the people, because those are the ones that have, you know, they get to make that decision as to how they'd want to address it. Wade Park had the highest part one crime in 2011 and 2010. I'll have all that information on these statistics on our website at utvs.com that are provided by the Wade Park City Hall right on this pamphlet. You can find that on utvsnews.com after the show.